So today we're going to be going through the power, the features and the benefits of using viral leaderboard contests. This isn't necessarily just for contests, you can use this for product launches, waiting lists, you can use it for campaigns to collect survey results, you can create this for campaigns to drive more product reviews, more sales. This platform is extremely flexible in how you reward points and the information that you can collect. So it can really be manipulated into all sorts of different campaigns. Uh, so here you can see the front end of the contest. You have the, you have the time limit, which is creating scarcity. You obviously have the CTA straight up that's visible no matter how you scroll. And then you have sort of, you know, intro, intro text, imagery, and more CTAs. And then once you get down here, you'll get to the content area. Now, as a business owner, you can enter, you know, any content you want here, images, text, photos, GIFs, voice recordings, whatever you really want. Uh, this area is to help convince someone to sign up to your contest. For example, we're offering a SaaS bundle for entrepreneurs and we are offering first place prize, which is a ton of lifetime and 12 month subscriptions, a second place, which is a few less tools a top five place and a random winner. Plus we've got a few different tiers. So for example, the way the contest works is you enter the contest, you have multiple options to collect points. The more points you get, the higher up the leaderboard you go. Now with all of these different uh, prizes are available and unlocked at different point tiers or different position tiers. So I'll go through that a little bit on the back end when I show you the uh, actual prize and thank you page from this. But as you can see in our content area, we've gone through and added a little bit of information about all of the products, um, which is just getting people excited about entering the contest. Uh, you know, they really want to win all of these, so they want to get to first place. If they can't get to first place, they can, you know, get to a certain number of points and get some prizes, or they can actually get chosen at random to win the prize pack. We'll just enter now. You can see here, you know, we're incentivizing them to get 150 points. Okay, now this is the opt-in page. You have your general name, email, and this is really interesting how you can add in multiple questions. And this gives you an opportunity as a business owner to collect a little bit more information about the people who are entering your contest. So in this case, we're asking for, you know, what industry the person is in. So we want to know if they're in, you know, manufacturing, clothing, SaaS, tech, uh, photography, whatever their industry is. We're collecting that information on everyone who enters. Now, this is 100% customizable, this one. Uh, you can have three different fields here. So you can ask things like age, gender, um, location, phone number, Facebook URL, uh, you can you know, ask them to fill out a question that's a little bit more specific to your product uh, that you, know, you can really put in anything there. So we'll just go in and sign up and go to the thank you page. Okay, so we are now on the thank you page and you can see the layout of this page is once you enter, you know, you're shown your rank and the number of points that you have. This is a demo, so I've made myself number one pretty much um, just to show you what it would look like from the very top. The leaderboard over here shows where I rank in the contest. Now, if I was say number three, I would see the number of points that number two has. And number four would see how many points number three has. So we're always incentivizing people to climb the leaderboard by collecting more points. Now you collect more points based on doing all of these actions. And remember how we had all of our rewards. So I'll just quickly go over the rewards before we go over the points. With the viral leaderboard contest, you have three options to reward, reward points. One option is to reward uh, someone based on a random winner. The second option is to reward someone based on the placement they are at on the leaderboard. Like we went over before, first, second, third, top five, top 10, top 20, whatever you want to put in there. The third option is to reward someone based on the amount of entries that they've collected. So the amount of points that they've collected. So for example, in this one, we're incentivizing people once they collect 175 points and 150 points. 
So we're really encouraging people to collect at least the bare minimum points to unlock a prize. So now we'll go through how you can collect the points. Uh, everyone who enters gets a custom URL they can share with friends, families, colleagues. Uh, you can also share them on social media. You can also incentivize them to like your social channels. And we like to really stimulate engagement with these uh, contests. So if a comment is left on the leaderboard, you just have this as an editable field. When you, look, when you sign up, you'll be able to add your contest comment. So you can see there's a few different ones in here. And that will give them 10 points. Now this is the extremely customizable part of the leaderboard contest. So we have enabled you to create your own rewards uh, or your own tasks for people to do to collect rewards. So if, for example, this one is to comment and share on a Facebook post. Uh, and then you can ask the question. Um, so, you know, how long was the video, for example? because it was a post with a video on it. So that kind of validates uh, the response. And all of this information that is submitted by the questions is added to your CSV export. So you can collect all of this information as well. So there's a bunch of different things you can do here. You can use these to encourage engagement on your social media posts, get people to join private groups like Slack, Facebook, other things you can get them to do is direct them to your uh, website to read content, sign up for a free trial, do any of that sort of stuff. So this section is very, very customizable and allows you to really do anything. So uh, for example, if you were going to do a product launch, um, you could maybe say upvote a product on Product Hunt or something. So you can really use this to you know, stimulate more more engagement on things outside of this contest and obviously you get more points um, so people are encouraged to do it. So that's uh, pretty much the overview of viral leaderboard contests, a hugely uh, powerful tool that allows you to really get a lot of actions out of someone who enters your contest and you can see you know if this was just one person all of these things they can do imagine compounding that by hundreds thousands tens of thousands um, as people get more referrals, they enter more people, those people do the same actions, and you can really create that viral lift uh, by getting that you know, knockover effect. One person refers two, those two refer four each, those four refer another two, and you get sort of a pyramid structure of uh, growth because it's obviously compounding with every person who shares and every person who um, onboards someone to the contest. At the end of the contest, you will pretty much just choose winners based on the reward tiers that you picked. So they were the place on the leaderboard, the amount of points that are triggered that someone gets, so and also uh, someone chosen at random. You can see that this is a great tool, and you should give it a go if you are looking to sort of stimulate some engagement, try something a little alternative in the marketing space worked extremely well with a lot of brands in you know building their social following, building that website traffic, driving sales and obviously building their email lists. Because once you have all of these people's information, you can obviously follow up with all that sort of stuff. So I hope you guys give it a try and uh, definitely feel free to shoot us any questions or anything at viper.io. We'd be happy to answer them.